Thank you. I'd first like to thank President Perez and the uh, organizers for giving me the, the uh, privilege of participating in this great celebration. In an earlier panel today, I talked about the challenge of inequality, the, the gap between the haves and the have-nots, which is rising in many countries throughout the world, especially in poor countries. This is actually the challenge that I personally have been most involved in studying, uh, but I don't want to repeat myself, and so let me turn to another big challenge. Uh, I'd like to just say a few words about something that uh, pr pr uh, Professor Cohn already raised, and that's uh, the challenge of climate change, global warming. It's actually a particularly interesting intellectual challenge because it involves so many different fields. It involves science, economics, politics, and technology. It's a scientific problem because although by now it's pretty clear that the Earth is getting warmer, and it's pretty clear that we humans are responsible for that by pumping carbon dioxide into the atmosphere, the long-term consequences of global warming are far from clear. How big is the risk that the ice mass in Antarctica will melt? What is the probability that the Gulf Stream will weaken or change course? What are the chances that there will be massive droughts in tropical regions of the world? We don't know the answers to these questions yet, but, uh, but science can help answer them. Let me emphasize that not knowing the answers now is not an excuse for inaction. Uh, even if these catastrophic events have very small probabilities, the expected damage may well still be high. And so, for the sake of prudence alone, we should be acting now. The problem is also economic because carbon dioxide emissions are not likely to be reduced significantly through market forces alone. I'm not going to pay you much to reduce your carbon emissions because most of the benefits from those reductions don't come to me. They're spread around to everyone. So I personally don't have the incentive to get you to reduce much and neither does anyone else. That's why it takes governments putting in place artificial economic schemes such as carbon taxes and cap and trade schemes and perhaps even more sophisticated schemes to do the trick. The problem is political because, as Professor Cohn already mentioned, global warming is in fact truly global. It can't be solved by a few countries on their own. It will it does require global participation in some treaty or set of treaties. But getting participation is a challenge because each country on its own has the incentive to free ride on what the other countries are doing. Each would like the other guys to do the heavy lifting. Getting them all on board is going to be tricky. There's also the issue of fairness. Rich countries of the world got rich in part because they were able to freely pump CO2 into the atmosphere for many years, and poor countries can rightly say that it's unfair to change the rules now uh, before they too have had a chance to, to do what the rich countries did. Uh, so it's going to require great political finesse to bring many of these developing countries on board. And finally, global warming is a technological problem because it's clear that with current technology alone, we are not going to be able to achieve sufficient carbon emission reduction in the long run, without, at least without considerable disruption to the economy. Uh, so we're going to have to develop new technologies. But here we run into the same problem as with carbon reductions. Market forces aren't likely to suffice on their own. 
if I develop a new carbon-free fuel, then yes, I can sell it to people, but the people who buy it aren't the only ones benefiting from it. Everyone does. And so the social value of my invention will be underestimated or undervalued by the, by the markets. In short, global warming, climate change are truly multifaceted challenges. But that should not be a source of despair. It should be a source of excitement. And um, now it, it's time for us to get to work on it. Thank you.